the most important step in this is drawing out the front of your box because everything else is going to be based off of that. So I decided how big I wanted my box to be. So I drew um, a trapezoid, which is the shape of my box, which was four inches wide and six inches tall. Um, that's the maximum measurements that I'd like you to do six inches in either direction. Even a six inch box, if you're doing a square, let's say you're doing a square and you're building off of that. You don't make the front, this part of your box should be at the most four inches. If it's any more than that, um, it's gonna be much more difficult. But mine is six inches, or excuse me, four inches wide and six inches high. And again, that's the biggest I want you to make your box. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut that, cut out that shape. After you cut out the front of your box, you want to do one exactly like it for the back of your box. So you're just going to put it down on another piece of cardboard, trace around it, and then cut it out. The next thing you need, now that you have a front and a back to your, uh, now that you have a front and a back to your box templates, you're going to decide how far apart you want these to be or how deep do you want your box to be. And I think because my box is so tall, I'm only going to go three inches deep. So if you look at the bottom, for the bottom of the box, I need to have a rectangle that's three inches by four inches. So I have the bottom cut out three inches by four inches, and I've labeled it bottom three inches by four inches. So this is going to go on the bottom like so. So the, everything else on here is going to be three inches deep. And all I need to do is I need to measure how long this is. So I'm measuring this is six inches long. So I need two for the sides that are six inches long. I have two for the sides that are two inches by six inches. And I've labeled them side, side, two inches by six inches. So now I have the bottom and I have my sides, and all that I have left to do is my top. So the top of mine is going to be three inches deep, and it's going to be two inches wide. Okay, so I have the top, which is two by three inches. I've got all six pieces, so you need six pieces before you go any further. You need a front, a back, two sides, a bottom, and a top. You're going to tape them all together so you're making your three dimensional structure. Once you have your box all taped together, I want you to take four pictures one a three quarter view, one of the front one of the back, and one of the bottom. And then you're going to create your slide number 10 on Unified Classroom, and it should look like this.